Okay, now once we find the median of a data set, then the data set naturally divides into two halves. And these are known as the lower half and the upper half. And we can find the median of each half. The median of the lower half is known as the first quartile. And we indicate that value with the symbol Q1. The median of the upper half is known as the third quartile, which we indicate with Q3. And these quartiles, together with the minimum and maximum value of the entire data set and the median of the entire data set, make up the five number summary. Okay, so to repeat, the five number summary consists of the following values. The minimum value, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum value. <clears throat> As an example, I have a data set here which gives the ages of the presidents of the United States who were inaugurated during the 20th century. Okay, so we have Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson. It's given in chronological order all the way down to Reagan, Bush, and Clinton. Okay, so this data set, which is given in chronological order, uh, obviously in order to summarize it, using the five number summary, we would need to write the data set in numerical order. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to need to do is to copy that data set. I've already done that on this uh, sheet of paper here. You can see I've just copied the numbers okay, that in, is in the data set onto my, my scratch paper here. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to need to do is to put the data values in numerical order. And we can either go in increasing or decreasing value. I'll go in decreasing value. So that means I need to find the maximum value in here. And scanning the list, I see that 69 is the greatest value. So I'll mark that off and then uh, write that at the top of the list. Okay, now I scan the list and find the next value and that turns out to be 64. Okay, so I'll cross that off, go back to the top, and write 64. Okay, and I continue in this way. Okay, the next one is 61. 61 appears twice in my list. So I'm going to cross it off both places and then write it down. So 61, 61. The next one is 60. So I'll write it down. And then we have uh, 56, and that value appears twice in the list. I'll write that down. Then we have a 55. Oh, there's another 55. I'll write them down. Okay, there's a 54. Okay, and here's a 52. I'll write that down. Now look, uh, there's three uh, 51s in the list. There, there, and there. So I'll write them down. And 
And then 46, that's how old Clinton was. And then we go back to 43. And then the youngest man inaugurated was Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, so now I have my list in numerical order and count up my values. There's 17 values there. So that, since I have an odd number, I just need to look for the value in the middle. That'd be 9 down from the top or equivalently 9 up from the bottom. I'll count down from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This value here is my median value. Okay, so now what do I have? Well, I have an upper half here, and I have a lower half here. Now each one of those halves has a median value, so I can find it. There's eight values up here, so I need to take the fourth from the top and the fourth from the bottom and then take their average and that gives me uh, my third quartile which is 60.5. For my lower half These 51s represent the median, the median of the lower half, and so that gives me my first quartile. Okay, and then my maximum value is obviously up here at the top. And my minimum value, obviously, here at the bottom. So there's my five number summary for this data set.